got unmuted. Whoop, it's time to freak at the freaker's ball, y'all. Yeah. We're <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, yeah, I forgot to uh, unmute the thingy there. All right. So, uh, anyway, welcome, everybody, to the freaker's ball right here live on reallibertymedia.com on this Friday evening, April 5, 2019, the first show of April of this year. So, uh, welcome to you all out there in all the various places you may be tuned in from, whether that be here or live on the video stream that's on the reallibertymedia.com Freakers Ball Show page, or if you're on Vaughn Live slash Real Liberty Media, and uh, welcome to you over there. But if you're on the audio stream, you could be anywhere. We don't really know where all those places may be. But uh, you could be on uh, the real rlmradio.xyz, freedomsnetwork.com, reallibertyorg tune in, internet radio, um, shoutcast. Yeah, there's a variety of places where you may be at at this point in time. First show of April of this year. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, um, you were saying the volume was kind of low before. Is it still low? Or are you hearing me all right? That's what I want to know. I'm looking at my meters here, and they're way up into the yellow on the on the, on the uh, oh, video stream. They're they're about level on, on the on the audio stream. All right, it's okay now. Sweet. Good to hear. Good to hear. All right, Moose Girl will be calling in momentarily, but let let me just let you know I have my replacement audio card. I had it on Monday night for the for the uh, leftovers program, but uh, it's the first time using it for the Freakers, so uh, it, it should be great. Uh, I mean, I, I love these sound cards. Um, it's basically a direct replacement for my old one, except it's got a few extra features that I'll probably never use. For example, it's got a remote control, which on some people I can understand the usefulness of a remote control, but for me, since it's sitting, I, I can sit here and, and, and touch it with my hand or almost with my knee if I get that close. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, it, it is the uh, Sound Blaster x Phi Surround 5.1 Pro. And these are basically obsolete now, but uh, the old, the newer models didn't work. I tried the newer, more expensive models than this. And they, they just, they didn't have the stuff that I needed. It was an old one for me. Oh, you're talking about something else. All right. So anyway, welcome to all the folks out there. And welcome to all the folks here in the Real Liberty Media chat over here on irc.freenode.net. The great folks like, uh, uh, let me steal Flash's comment again. The bots and bodies uh, here in the chat. We got the barman, and we got Cowboy Tech. We got myself and the Moose Girl, of course. We got Miss Kate and Don Carroll. We got Asmodeus. We got Chalcedony and Gramzy. We got Don C. Oh, another Don C. Okay. Uh, we got the Java Doctor, who may be passed out at this point in time. He's been having some uh, pain issues to deal with. All right. We got Meister Brow and uh, Ponder Gander. Uh, we got Rain and Mr. Pass the Bubbler Around. Rob Works, thank you, Rob. Always appreciate seeing that bubbler going around. We got Rome's, a.k.a. Trust No One. We have Miss Vanna White out there spinning the letters for us. Vin E. Uh, he's so easily amused. We got the Weather Dork Bot. We got Miss Z. Beth Z. <laughs> I feel like I was doing a baseball thing there. Uh, hey, we got Phantom and Circle and Colfax and Cyborg and Noodle. We got Dakota and Frumpy and Gromit. And uh, JJ is from Scotland. Yes, indeed. We got Dakozu and uh, Karl Marx bot that we have here now is, um, I guess it's an AI learning bot that's picking up clues from what we have to say in there and how to, to chat with people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Kiss and Pwn Sauce and Sock Puppet and Van Meter. And I know we have Chloe over in another channel. And uh, Vinny is over there as well, hanging out with us. And oh, there's a few of the bots as well, and Kozu there. And Anyway, so yeah, howdy to all y'all folks over there. And if you're listening from, like, the really red, red pill... <laughs> The Red Pill, uh, or other places. Welcome to YouTube. 
Uh, so, uh, anyway, Moose will be calling in uh, any minute. Yeah. Too, yeah, it is too bad they're not all active chatters, or is it? <laughs> you know, it's sometimes sometimes it's not that great when they're all active chatters. <laughs> Just saying. People can have little conflicts of interest or conflicts of personalities going on there uh, in the chat sometimes. And, uh, you know, <laughs> the gratuitous easily. Hmm. Excuse me, I was, I was sipping some water. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I assume Moose will be calling in momentarily. I, I think that's the plan. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll give you a uh, garden update while I'm waiting. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a garden this year, or at least I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm attempting to. And uh, earlier this week on Wednesday, I, I put my first seeds in some indoor growing things inside of egg carton dailies. And so those should spring up uh, seven to ten days, I think. You should start see I should I should start not you, but I should start seeing some signs of greenery popping up out of the ground. Um, I, I yeah I don't even want to know what that's all about there, Vinny, your secret garden. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I got I got uh, a couple different types of tomatoes planted. I got some jalapenos, I got some lettuce, I got some bell peppers, I got some, what else do I got out there? Something else. I got six different things growing, so, uh, or planted. Not, nothing growing yet, but um, hopefully within a week, they, they, like I said, they should come up. Um, and uh, so we'll just treat them that way. And I'm working on the uh, dirt in the yard to get the dirt all cleaned and aerated and all that wonderful stuff so that that should be fun so um, I, I don't know what uh, if Moose is going to call in well I'll tell you what we'll just start with some music here uh, and uh, then we will Moose will come around I guess when we get back from the music so how about that how's that sound to y'all <laughs> all right <laughs> Kick it off here with a little bit of Leo. Send that one out to my man, Wes. All right, the infamous. String dusters with Jack Straw for the Moose Girl. Yes, indeed. Before that, we had Grace Potter and the Nocturnals doing White Rabbit, and we kicked it off there with Leo Maraccioli covering Johnny B. Good. Uh, he, he put that video out right after Chuck Berry died. It was kind of his little uh, homage there to uh, Chuck Berry. So, good stuff. All right, so now we just got to wait for the Moose Girl to call in this time around. I imagine she will. I don't know for sure, but I, I assume that she will. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see here. <laughs> when was this? Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, she's uh, she's playing. She's got a, she's got a new computer there, and she, she's she's busy kind of playing with that thing right now. Uh, as... as uh, as you will do when you get a new machine. That's just how it works. Yeah, you get a new computer and you, you start goofing around with things, trying to get it to, to your liking, to what you're used to from from previous machines. So, uh, it's understandable that she would be doing that, but uh, hopefully she'll call in anyhow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah, we'll do this one too. Why not? Don't don't mind me. I'm just sitting here uh, putting some new songs in for the next set. You know, I, I do that between sets, and usually the moose is there as my buffer to talk while I'm doing these things. But she is having trouble seeing apparently. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. Anyway, let's see what we got for stories to cover. Wait, is there anything else I want to tell you about? Anything on Real Liberty Media needs to be discussed? 
No, I think we're good. I think we're good there. Let's just take a look in our wonderful list of things that are in my list. All right. Let's do this one. Now, hopefully, and, and, and I, I generally I, I don't share stories from natural news, but I'm going to share this one. It came out today. Um, and it's put up there by somebody named Isabel Z. And it's disgusting. <laughs> it's 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 really it's really it's really it's really disgusting. Uh, but here it is. Burger King rolls out the genetically modified Impossible Burger, made with questionable chemicals. Yeah, I'm gonna say they're they're beyond questionable. They're nasty, nasty ass chemicals. And they got a photo here of the burger. And, and I swear to God, if you if you didn't know better, if you saw one of these burger patties laying on the ground somewhere, you would think it was a piece of dog shit. But there it is, and they're serving it up to you, and you're buying Well, not maybe not you, but some people are buying it. <laughs> I can't remember, even remember the last time I've been to a Burger King, but, uh, oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so Burger King is patting itself on the back for adding the Impossible Whopper to its menu in some locations. But what they're not all, not openly sharing is that the new meatless patty used in this sandwich is full of GMOs and is made with toxins like MSG. Sure, it's not meat, but it's definitely a poor excuse for food. Uh, the plant-based faux meat patty comes from California-based Impossible Foods. Its main selling point is H E M E. What, what is that? Is that is that a misspelled word, or am I is, is that something I'm supposed to understand? Heme, I guess. Anyway, which is created in this case from a genetically modified yeast to make the patties look like they're bleeding, just as real meat would, and gives them a meat-like taste. <laughs> okay. A meat-like taste. Uh, apparently that was right. Heme, H-E-M-E, is found in the hemoglobin in our blood and carries oxygen throughout the body. It's also responsible for giving blood its red shade. In addition to being found in animals, soy roots have also, also have heme in them. However, uh, because they only contain a small amount, Impossible Foods decided to use genetic engineering to tweak the DNA of the yeast in a way that enables soy root nodules to produce heme at scale. Is your mouth watering yet? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, <laughs> so... Oh uh, yuck! Anyway, the burger the burgers also contain textured vegetable proteins, which are part of the MSG family of excitotoxins. Ooh, exciting! Uh, that destroys your brain cells. Yeah, the more brain cells that you destroy, the more excited you get. Apparently, MSG can use or can cause problems like hives, upset stomach, and muscle tightness and fatigue and migraines. The Impossible Burger, according to Food and Wine. Whoop! We have a phone call. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, we got the moose. Doo -doo -doo. There she is. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Super fucking loud. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'll, I'll bring you down here. All right, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You're good. You're good at my end, anyway. I don't know about your end, but you're good at my end. Speak. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. I can't set levels if you're not saying anything. Hello, 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 hello. All right, let me bring you down a little more. All right, there you go. That should be good. All right. All right. So, uh... Ugh, nasty. Nasty buggers. <laughs> what? Uh, the story I was just telling. Weren't you? Oh, yeah. You, you I could hear a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, don't if if you ever go to Burger King, which I would suggest you don't do in the first place, make sure you don't right. order an Impossible Whopper because they're made of disgusting shit. <laughs> totally, yes, indeed. Totally disgusting shit. Anyway, there's a lot more to that story. You guys want to uh, look it up? There, it's on NaturalNews.com. It'll the link will be in the post show blog as always. So. Uh, yeah. Nice. Anyway, um, yeah, for you guys talking about different browsers and things like that, I have here on my little uh, taskbar. I don't know what, what do you what do you call this bar at the bottom of your screen? Uh, anyway, I have Waterfox, Firefox, Chrome, Brave, Opera, and Explorer. I have a couple other browsers that are not down there that um, I could use for whatever purpose, but mostly uh, I use Firefox and the rest are for testing. At this point in time, right now on my on my Linux machine where where uh, where uh, Vanna White and the, the Weather Dork sit, I, I use Brave over there. Um, Brave is a nice browser, uh, and it's it's basically a Chrome-based browser. So uh, anyway, so I got on that one. I got I got Brave. I got Firefox. I got Water. Oh, Chromium and Waterfox. Hmm. See, it's good to have a bunch of browsers to pick from, you know? For right. Various, for various uses. <laughs> anyway, we'll get your, set, your system set up tomorrow where you can see... Yeah, all yeah. That's <clears throat> fine. It's just... Text and things like that. You know, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it to, right. to, to the moose perfect. Yes. <laughs> it's just a pain. I just went through this five weeks ago. Oh, I know, but, you know, what are you going to do? Like, uh, the, other, the, uh, the other one died, so what are you going to do? Right, exactly. It is what it is. It is. No doubt about that. So I have no bookmarks at all. But really, you should have all your bookmarks. Really? In, your, in the Firefox, we aborted everything. Oh, it's Firefox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's right. see. They, they are, everything should be there. Quit asking me if I want to use it as my default browser. I don't. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do. I do have it. All right, good. Yeah, every everything that you had on your the other yeah, machine that's sitting see, there. Yeah, that's not the recent one. That's all right. No, no, it's not the recent one. It's the uh, well, whatever it is. The old one. Yeah, five weeks ago or six weeks ago. Yeah. Whatever. yeah, yeah. All righty. Anyway, all right then. No bookmarks whatsoever. In Chrome, you mean? Or well, I have them in Firefox, but nothing. Right. Not but you can import. You can import them. Saved. You can import them. Six, you, huh? can, you can import them into Chrome, and we'll do that tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. All right. <laughs> anyway, yay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. What was I going to talk about? I don't know. All I know is last week. Trump is saying, you know, he says some pretty shitty stuff and stupid shit, but um, you, you, when he makes claims that he's going to shut down the border completely of Mexico, mm -hmm. that's just asinine. All right. Well, you, you, you I'll, I'll read a headline here, and you tell me how stupid Trump is. All right. <laughs> Uh, no, this is on Newsweek.com. It says, mm -hmm. the best windmill causes cancer tweets in response to Donald Trump's claim wind power could cause cancer. What? <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, the guy, he doesn't think, you know, and I know he's a politician, he's whatever he is, but he does not think before he speaks or tweets. <laughs> I That's for sure. I can't we even know imagine. That. I can't even imagine how he came up with something like that. I don't know. I don't think you want to know. But anyway, um, everybody had a good chuckle at his at his expense. It says uh, right. following Trump's claim that windmills could cause cancer, Twitter erupted in a humorous clapbacks, introduced uh, introducing the world to windmill noise cancer awareness day. 
<laughs> and that what? And that, uh, what windmill noise cancer awareness day. It's a joke. Oh my god. Joke, obviously. And the hashtag windmills cause cancer. Um he says, uh well I, I well I don't think noise can cause cancer. Trump is really doing some ground breaking research on the potential every time he speaks. <laughs> no kidding. So, oh my god. So, some of the tweets here. If windmills cons, cause cancer, then do pinwheels cause the common cold? <laughs> right? <laughs> you, uh, uh, one, one guy says, haven't been feeling great this past week. At first I thought it was due to pollen, but now I know <laughs> that it's probably cancer. I got this Lego windmill from that my niece made. He's got uh, little pictures here from the tweets, such and that. Why? Why doesn't he have advisors? If he does, he does not consult with them before he does or says anything. Apparently, <laughs> I mean, you would think he'd have someone like back behind him, behind his back, going, "Dude, don't fucking say that." Dude, don't fucking say that. Yeah. I mean, okay. So when he says comments like. He's going to completely shut down the Mexican border? That is so fucking asinine and so detrimental to this country. <laughs> okay, that boy. it's not even funny. Like, he's not thinking at all when he says that because you don't, people don't realize how many products we get, especially food, that we get from Mexico. Hey, anyway, Kate no, points out oh, here. Go ahead. Uh, Ju Giuliani is advising him. What? Giuliani is advising him. Really? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Okay, well that explains a lot right there. Because he's another fucking moron. You know? Oh, yeah. Giuliani, I mean, he's got other people advising him. He apparently doesn't listen to any of them. I mean, <laughs> people don't realize how much products this country gets from Mexico. Right. You don't realize how many pro clo clothing. Anyway, here, how much here, clothing. here. Our parts are made in Mexico. I mean, if you shut down the fucking border completely, that mean it completely to me that means fucking completely. All right. Well, but but he's backed off. You shut down that trade. He he's backed off on it now. Well, oh, oh yeah, until like what next week? No, for a year. No, he hasn't uh, he backed said, off on he, it. He's, he's like. No, he said Trump for a year. Trump the first section of the new anti-climb border wall. It says our country is full as he boasts two miles of 30-foot barriers and plans 400 more after activists float giant diapered baby Trump balloon in protest. Yeah, no, he said for a year. He's backed off for a year. Oh, for a and, year? And then and in addition to that, he said, well, we'll probably never have to shut it down because, you know, Mexico is being more cooperative, which <laughs> I, I don't see any signs of that, but that's what he said. So, <laughs> yeah, the that's Glock right. lobby, yeah, yeah probably, absolutely. Kate. Oh, that, I, that was, was one big, of my first ones. Is avocados? It was. It was a big thing on on the on the uh, Twitter there. You know, everybody making fun of the guacamole deal, and, and right, that. okay. And then then that was yesterday. And then today was the freaking windmills, and it's just like <laughs> oh, this guy's a never-ending source of amusement, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Hey, Dana. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. It, it may. I mean, it's it isn't though, because it's real. I mean, it. it yeah, it, it's sad, really. It's fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is sad. Wow. But 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 yeah, anybody, any of the uh, uh, true supporters of Trump, they don't care. They don't care. They, no. They, they, no, uh, they don't. They, well, they don't. They, who knows? I don't know. I just, it's like, whatever. You people, you guys get all wrapped up in this crap. You don't know the fucking, you don't think about the history or the fucking, uh, or origins and the reasons for why the things are the way they are. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's called do your own research. Don't expect someone else to fucking tell you what to think. Right, right. You know, um, yeah, it is a t great time to be alive, Kate. That's for sure. Uh, it's 11.43 is a great time? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> a great time. In, 
Uh, in history, <laughs> to be alive. 9.44 and 12 seconds. All right. <laughs> the, 10.44, well, according to my computer, yeah, it's yeah. 10.44, but... Well, in the, mountain, um, in the mountain time zone. Anyway, uh, according to... See, now this is, you know, I went through this last time when I got the other new computer. I got Daily Mail, and it's all these fucking ads. It's like, are you fucking are, are kidding you, are me? Are you on Chrome? Is that what's going on? Where am I? Where am I on? I think so. Yeah, because you didn't. We didn't. We didn't put the ad blocker on your on your Chrome. We just put it on Firefox. Okay. Is something brewing? What? Geologists discover a new hot spot in Yellowstone oh. super volcano <laughs> that's been killing. That's killing off trees and a patch of warm land the size of four soccer fields. Uh huh. <laughs> so, um, apparently the thermal spot is growing. Right. Thermal area. Um, this is where they say it could be devastating utterly. Let me just get this linked up for you. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, from today, April 5th, 2019. Right. So they they do release some information once in a while, you know, but most people don't even fucking pay attention to that. They're just like, oh, whatever, you know, you know, yeah. big deal. Well, hopefully but, it won't go off, uh, you know, not in a big way anyhow. I mean, it's fine if it just spits out a little whatever, but uh, yeah, we don't, we, don't, we don't want that going off in a big way. Uh, <laughs> that would be bad. Yes, it would be. It could be very bad. I mean, yeah. it's a big one. It's not a small one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But, you know, stuff like that is stuff you can't control. Like, I don't, I like to be aware of it, but it's not like I'm going to fucking live in fear and be like, oh, my God, it's going to fucking blow any day now. Well, you know, you're in you're in Wisconsin. Right. Probably wouldn't. Well, I'm pretty good, but yeah. But the same thing with the chemtrail planes. Like you can't. What are you gonna do about it? The only thing you can do about you about it, anything really is to take care of yourself. Be your own advocate. Be your own physician. Um, do things to combat the effects of the world, the poisons and the toxins that you're ex exposed to on a daily basis in the world. Like, I, I refuse to live in fear and be one of these, you know, fearful people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just not me. Right, right. Like, I don't, I mean, you just, you, you got to make your own decisions. I think too many people allow government to make their decisions for them, and it's just your first mistake right there. Sure, sure. And then buying into this, this, them against us and the Dems versus reps and fucking it, 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 you don't realize that it's two factions of the same team because you haven't dug deep enough and done the research to, to realize that yeah I mean you, it, it, you buy into the mainstream media you buy into the, the agenda when right. you buy into this two party thing you're buying right into their hand you're playing right into their hand so if you're doing that, then you love government. You believe in it. You believe in government. And you should it should exist. You believe that it should exist. You you know might not necessarily agree with everything, but damn it, it needs to fucking exist. Because why? Why? What's your argument? What's the main argument? That you would have the, oh, your all, reason to say that government it, it, has to exist, that we have to have it in order fear. to have what a civilized society. No, it's all fear. Is our society civilized right now? <laughs> I don't fucking think it is. No, it's not, Moose. It's, no. it's all it's all fear based. That's all. Uh, right. You know, that's what because I'm saying. every excuse for having a government is based upon fear. Right, and you know, when you buy into... The bad guys will get us. Well, the government is the bad guys, and they will get you. Right, when yeah, you they'll, buy they'll, into their, their, what they say and what they do, you're, you're, you're playing right into their hand. The, the robbers will come and get us. Well, they're stealing half your pay anyway. Right, you know? exactly. And, the and, robbers are already here, <laughs> taken from you right now. They've been forever. Right. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, you know... Your arguments don't hold water. 
your arguments don't hold fucking water. No, they do not. But but and so, yeah. But trying to argue with a statist I and mean, just beat it's your true. Head, just beat your head so, into a wall. It's and, a waste of time because they have their mind made up and they know what's right. God damn it. Yeah. And they 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 stand by this because it's all that they whatever reason. Yeah. It's you, like you, you, you guys don't get it. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. Well, you know, they, everybody's been trained since birth that this is the way it is and the way it needs to be. And if it wasn't this way, then everything would just go to shit. Right. Was, well, it went to shit already, so thank you very much. It's already let's, too shit, right. Yeah, it's let, already let's, in let's, shit. Let's try something different because this don't work. <laughs> right, this isn't working. Is it working for you personally? Do you like working a lot of hours for not enough pay? Do you like, do you like never, that? Do you I mean, like do you never actually... Like that? Do you like that they take out some amount of money out of your paycheck every fucking... Every time you get paid? Do you like never actually owning your house? Right. <laughs> do you like uh, Do you like that? I mean, what is it that you like about government? I mean, people sitting there. Well, th th this is this is the, the argument I love. Well, it's necessary. Well, why is that? Well, right. we, we just, you got to have it. You just have to have it. It's, but then at the same time, they'll be like, you know what? The fucking government sucks. Fuck them. Fuck the Uncle Sam. Oh, all these taxes. They'll sit there and bitch. But right. you're, Oh, God. We need it, though. Right. They're not happy about it. They don't like it. They fucking hate it. But yet, oh, we still need it. Uh, what's wrong with you? Uh. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Well, it's, it's like the, 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 that new meme. Uh, don't tread on me. Unless you're just following orders. Right, it's Munchausen sy syndrome. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh god. It's Munchausen syndrome. It's like you feel sorry for your oppressors. You you start feeling sorry for them, and this is how they fucking get no, you. No, they, they they hero worship them. Right. Yeah, they you know cops, the military, these guys. Oh, they're just wonderful because. Uh, well, they wear badges and and, and they're they're protecting us. Mm, really? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when's, uh, when's the last no. time one of them's ever protected anybody? Right. Uh, and you guys, but people still, even though they'll hear you, Grim, you know, fuck me. You know, fuck me. Right? What I say. But you when mean, you say it, wh wh why? They, Wait. Still, they still, they still, it some, goes wherever their fucking head. You think people listen to me? I don't know. So no, they, some people claim that they do, well, and they, they like what you say. Well, the people that are, people that actually came to a place called Real Liberty Media, then yeah, they 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 are they were there before they got here. Um, really? Well, for the most part, I mean, we, obviously we have the Hansels and the Goobers, but um, for the most part, people that came and here status. already had a liberty mindset when they got here. You know. well, I guess liberty is different for everybody. Well, and liberty is liberty. That means, you know. The definition of it is different for everybody then. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Anyway. Um, right. <laughs> or it can be. I don't know. I don't care. Let's, let's play some more music. All right. All let's right. do that. And uh, we'll be back after these quick tunes that you are going to enjoy, kitties. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and uh, if you got some beer nuts, I guess. Uh, It is a beautiful thing to be part of this. Pass that around with your friends. God bless you. Keep love you so heavily. Have a happy and safe New Year. And I love you guys so much I can't even tell you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's freaking out standing guys for a size. Oh, yeah, Carolyn Wonderland. Getting stoned. Yeah, let's go get stoned. There, uh, She's playing on Antones down there in uh, Austin, Texas. So, yeah, man, that's fucking great. Uh, apparently that was at uh, the Riverside, Antone's Riverside location. Uh, different one than I've been to. Anyway, before that, we had Greta Van Fleet doing Safari Song. And uh, that video just was released yesterday. Uh, but it was from a nightclub in Toronto back in July of 2018. And we kicked it off there with the Matamoose Girl request, Trampled by Turtles, Widower's Heart. All good stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, Carolyn, man, she's um, she's a good-looking woman. Let me tell you. 
<laughs> if you're not familiar with her. <laughs> Just another one of those that are pretty darn good. All right, Moosey, you still there with me tonight? You wander off, doing something with the dog, the kid, the, the dog and the kid, the kid and the dog? I don't know. Uh, Hello? Hey. Oh, there you are. All right. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Oh, not too much. Just uh, setting up different tunes here for the next one. And <laughs> Foxy Lady. Yes, Benoit. Carolyn Wonderland is a Foxy Lady. Oh, I did that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can't think anything that pissed me off this week except for, well, a few things, but... Well, you know, um, you, you, you can talk about, what? You can talk about things that didn't piss you off, too. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff doesn't have to piss you off to make it to the show. <laughs> True. <laughs> but it's just, you it know, it's... Things irritate me. <laughs> I, I, I totally understand. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I could talk about good and happy shit all the fucking time, but that just wouldn't be, you know, right. true. Right, right. You know, you got some kid, some fucking psycho fuck out there, posing as some fucking missing kid since 2011. Yeah, I heard about that you know, little idiot. What the fuck, buddy? Why would you do that to that family? Why would you do that? Because he's a dick. Yeah. You know, okay, speaking of dicks, dickheads, I should say. Uh-huh. I just, I'm sick of dickheads. I'm just, I'm done. Like, there's just way too many of them, and it's just like, I'm There done. are just so many. <laughs> there's just so many dickheads. I mean, and I work in this customer service job, and there's just some real fucking dickheads out there, man. I mean, yeah. so most of the people, okay, 80% of the people are okay. You know? Yeah. But then you got that 20%. And it just, it's just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you know, it's just like, come on. Uh, well, you wish they were kidding you, but they're not. No, they're not. Yeah. You know, and it's always great when you talk to, when I talk to someone that's from was in Wisconsin. You know, yeah. guy calls up, places places an order. Um, uh, and he's like, I'm like in your, the city. He's like freedom. I'm like, is that Wisconsin? <laughs> he's like, yes, it is. <laughs> I'm like, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, we're in Eau Claire. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, I knew you guys were. He's like, okay, blah, 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 you know. Yeah. And it's just like, my homie. <laughs> <laughs> Another cheese head. <laughs> oh, I got to say, though, okay, and this is just a, a, a self poll that I've been taking, like a mental poll. All right. From Indiana are dumb and not nice. Okay? Corn, not not corn. all people from Indiana, okay? Several people I've talked to from Indiana are not very bright. Okay? Yeah, and you yeah. can just tell. Sure, sure. All right. Anyway, so there's that. People from North Carolina. Yeah. Super fucking nice. People all from right. Tennessee. Super fucking nice, dude. Okay. Like, seriously. Nice people. And, and, people from Virginia, West Virginia. Super fucking nice. And how, you get, how, are the, how are the New Mexicans? The New Mexican? Oh, I talked to one guy that was from Albuquerque the other day. Uh -huh. I wanted to fucking, if I could reach for the phone and strangle that fucker, I probably would have. <laughs> no, he was not, well, Albuquerque, you know. Yeah, I know, I get it. But... I'm talking Albuquerque, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. total dickhead. That guy was a dickhead. And I made note, I'm like, oh, Albuquerque. Okay, then. Yeah. And then you get, I mean, okay, it, it really doesn't matter which state. You just get nice customers and shitty ones. You know what I mean? All right, yeah. It doesn't really matter where they're from, where they live. It just, I, you, you notice trends. You know what I mean? <laughs> you notice trends. 
Uh, yeah, no Kentucky doubt. Kentucky people, Kentucky people are nice. Yeah, you get any New Yorkers calling you? Oh God. Oh yeah. <laughs> they, we get from they, the Bronx. They, they got to be the worst. New York and oh, New Jersey. God. No, the worst. Yeah, some of the worst. Are the ones from fucking Boston. Oh, uh, yeah, that whole Eastern Seaboard. That, the whole Eastern Seaboard. New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut. Oh God. Yeah, look the hell out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I don't know what it is about that. What is it? It has to be, there's just so many fucking people that you just have to be like that. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I don't know sure what it she, is. She, but, she uh, didn't mean you, yeah. Donna? Indiana, there's parts that are nice, but seriously, <laughs> there was one guy I was talking to, and he was holding like a newborn, like a kid, a baby. Yeah, yeah. And he, he seriously held the phone to the baby's mouth while the baby's bawling while I'm on the phone with him. Right. He was just a total dickhead, dude. You know, and it's like he seriously did that on purpose. He seriously fucking held the phone to that baby so I could, it'd be like crying in my fucking eardrum, right? And I have a headset on, you know? It's like, thanks a lot, you fucker. What about, what about Arkansas people? If you can understand them, <laughs> they're all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, Some of them are a little slow on the uptake. I, I'm going to say, I mean, uh, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I, I tell Vinny all the time, man, he speaks Some in mumbo jumbo. Are a little slow on the uptake. He, he, speaks, he speaks a lot of mumbo jumbo. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, and then you get these Texas Cowboys calling. Yeah. They're actually pretty all right. Them good old boys down there, down in Texas. Texas. Right. Yeah. I don't talk funny. You talk funny, Vinny. <laughs> All right. You both. You down there, so don't. You, you, don't both, you both talk funny. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No. Whatever. What's that line in that Thrill Good song? Yeah, you talk too much? Uh, no, you talk funny. No, you talk funny. You talk Something too like much. That. Yuck, you yuck, know? yuck, 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 all the time. You know that song I'm talking about? You talk too much. And what's the line, though? Yakety, 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 yak, all the time. No, I don't, I don't know which line I'm thinking of, though. I'm thinking of a different line and a different yeah. talk. Right, <laughs> right. right. I don't know. But uh, Indiana people are not cowboys at all. They're rednecks. They are rednecks, <laughs> freaking farmer, fucking back-ass words, fucking... Lack of schooling, motherfuckers. You could just tell. You could just tell. They're losers down there. You can have them. You, Take you, them. You could tell Indiana people are a bunch of rednecks from the politics that come out oh, of there. Oh, you can tell. You can oh, tell. They're horrible. Oh yeah. Horrible. Indiana is like the least, my least favorite state. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. But but see, Donna. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you you escaped Indiana, so. I did. Well, not me. No, no, Donna. Man, I said Donna. Did. Yeah, Donna yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. She, she escaped Indiana. Well, yeah. I could never live in Indiana. No. No, you'd have to fucking pay me. No, yeah. you couldn't even pay me to live there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Indiana. I'm sorry. Yeah. The movie Hoosier is really good. That's based on a true story. But Everybody sing that song. Indiana wants me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. They do, but not for what you want it. You want uh, no, it to no, be. Not, they, for, yeah, not, for, not for the reasons that you're hoping. No, no, they uh, they wanted that guy. No, to no, him, no. To throw his no. ass in jail. That's what they wanted him. No, for. you don't want to know what goes on in in the backwoods. Uh, no, you don't. Of Indiana. <laughs> or the hills of Arkansas, for that matter. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's this. Yeah, you don't want to know, but um. It's interesting in a way, but in a way it's not because it's just so dealing with the public too much. Right. But a lot of sweet people. Talked yeah. to some lady from Gatlinburg, Tennessee today. You know, I was like, okay, sweet. I've been there. I know where that is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he believes. He believes. He believes. He believes. Yeah, fair. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. When I okay, when I went down south though, uh-huh. like or when I, even when I went to Jamaica, right. like, I started get, I pick up the lingo and the slang really easily. Like I'm really good at doing that, you know. Okay. And so I when I was down south down there down south, Charleston, I started saying y'all, you know. I, I say it lame now because I haven't been around it, but you know, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Mixing the, no, the, 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 I would mix sound weird if I said that. Mixing, no, mix, mixing the, uh, the, the, the Wisconsin and, and the Southern accents together there. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, man. I don't say, I don't, I do not say use guys. I don't say well, that. I don't from, say you're, use guys. You're not from New I don't. Jersey. Well, you're, you're, yeah. You're not, you're, not, you're not from the Bronx. You can tell these guys from the, some of these guys that are like hard school, like East Coasters. <laughs> oh my God, this one guy was from Southie, from Boston. Yeah. South Boston. Right, oh my right, God. Right. He saw like he was like a, a, an extra on the, the show Ray Donovan. I mean, I'm like, dude, are you like from Ray Donovan? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Whatever. You're uh, gonna be like, what? No, never mind. It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, yeah, okay. So what do you got, Grim? All right. Um, if you, by any chance, take a trip to Europe at some point in, mm -hmm. I don't know how long this will last, maybe probably forever, uh, until they until they realize it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. However, here it is. For those of you over there in Europe, uh, Flash, um, cannabis sold on the streets of Europe contains feces because smugglers take laxatives to expel tiny pellets of the drug. So they eat it or shove it up their ass. I, I don't what? know what they do, but then they 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 do it. And samples of cannabis collected in Madrid were tested for bacteria. Three quarters were contaminated with E. coli, which could cause illness. Most of the samples were too dangerous to be consumed. It could pose a threat to people who use the drug to alleviate health problems. So, um, yeah, cannabis sold in or being sold on the streets of Europe may be contaminated with feces. Oh, Not great. Oh, that's just <laughs> great. Yeah, just wonderful. Yeah, most of the samples. Oh, we already saw that part. Um, so when you um, before, think twice before you buy the type of weed called dog shit. Right, and it says, though the study was only conducted in Spain, one expert told the Mail Online, the same unusual, unusual, it seems like it's fairly common, unusual thing could be happening in the UK and other places in Europe. Uh, this is because of the way the drug is sometimes smuggled into countries by swallowing it, there it is, and later excreting it with use of lax. Oh, and, God. Uh, <laughs> X -lax, oh, my God. x lax weed. So, uh, experts, oh ex God. experts said the findings are worrying, considering some people who use cannabis do uh, do so to try and alleviate health problems. Also, if right. you put that in your edibles, then you're eating shit. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> Eat shit and don't smoke it. No, don't. Right. No, I mean, probably if you smoke it, it would probably be all right. But if you're eating it, uh, yeah. Anyway, this, this the article goes on talking about various other things, but I, I think the headline was adequate. Uh, yes. For, really, for that, you don't you don't really need to. Uh, um, <laughs> eat shit. <laughs> oh, just play nasty. Yeah. So I saw this article up there today. Okay. And it's not normally the kind of thing we share here too much on on the Frigger's Ball, but, mm -hmm. but but I had to because I had I also had to respond to the the tweet that I saw where this was posted over there on the, the Twitter, the Twitter sphere. Mm -hmm. Because I need to find, I need to know. United mm -hmm. States and the UK vow to hold the perpetrators of the chemical attacks in Syria responsible. So I responded to SputnikNews.com on Twitter. Okay. So they're going to hold Israel responsible? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't get any feedback from my tweet, but <laughs> <laughs> I still, still I had to say it. Anyway, uh, so, so it says the U.S., the U.K., and France said in a joint statement on today that they are committed to holding the perpetrators of the alleged chem – I don't even know if there's a real attack. It's an alleged chemical attack in Syria towns of Douma and Khan Shikon, 
uh, responsible for their actions. On the anniversaries of two alleged chemical attacks in Syria, London, Paris, and Washington, uh, 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 again blamed the Syrian government for attacking its citizens right when they were winning, and warned it against repeats. Uh, two years on from the horrific chemical weapons attack, alleged, alleged, that took place in Khan Shikaun, and almost one year since the attack in Douma, we, the United States, the UK, and France, warn against and remain firm in our resolve to respond appropriately to any use of chemical weapons, which it's a ridiculous thing. What, I mean, Syria's in charge of every part of Syria now. There's, there's, there's no part where, who are they going to attack? They're just going to go out and start gassing their own people for no reason? <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, uh, the three stated the Syrian government's history of repeatedly using chemical weapons against its own people cannot be disputed. Well, it can, because it's a lie. And we remain determined to hold it accountable for indiscriminately killing innocent men, women, and children with these heinous weapons. Oh, yeah, like the white phosphorus and the uh, depleted uranium that the United States uses. That's not heinous at all. No, those are perfectly fine because, well, the United States is using them. Uh, and, of course, over there, it was the United States agents of the U.S. and Israel that uh, were, were doing the chemical weapons. But, no, they wouldn't do that, Grim. Who wouldn't? The government. No, that, that, you're, you're lying. <laughs> no, they wouldn't fucking do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> People think they wouldn't. Uh, I know they do. I know they do. I've, I've, had, but, argu you I've, know, had, I've had arguments with people. It's okay if you say it. Well, it's okay. Whatever the United States does is, is good. It's for democracy. They're 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 chemical attacking people for democracy. They they're right. hitting people with DU. Their own people, by the way, their own soldiers. Yep. <laughs> with DU for democracy because they're protecting you. They're over there fighting for your freedom. By no, they're not. Bombing innocent people by killing. No, they're not. Innocent, I'm ashamed of that. Destroying innocent people. I hate that so much. Uh, I, I, I fucking I would, hate I, that. I, I live in this country and I have no control or say in any matter whatsoever when it comes to that kind of stuff. And I hate the fact that there's people in other countries and everything that will look down on me, upon me unkindly. Just for the fact that I have, I live in the U USA, you know, doesn't mean that I fucking agree with the goddamn government. I agree with all this killing and shit. Right. It's embarrassing to me. Okay. It's embarrassing to me. I'm supposed to be all patriotic. What? Over that? The uh, killing of uh, innocent people? No, I'm not gonna be fucking joining on that, ba jumping on that fucking bandwagon. Thank you very fucking much. I'm anti-war, no matter what fucking government's fucking doing it. All right. Well, you know how you were talking earlier so, about uh, yep. about uh, Trump saying he's going to close the border. Yeah. Well, right. Well, they, they, they have a they have a they have a new thing here. Oh, okay. Posted, posted on a new the, thing. Ooh, a new thing. Posted on NewYorker.com. <laughs> okay. How climate change is fueling the United States border crisis. Oh, my friggin' eyes. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> you, just can't, you just can't make this shit up. <laughs> no, you can't. No, no. So you could, you could, and you can try, but... All right, in the center of Clementoro, in the western highlands of Guatemala, a dozen large white houses rise above, rise above the village's traditional wooden huts like giant monuments. The structures are made of concrete and fashioned with archways. Uh, wh wh what are you telling me all this for? What does this have to do with anything? All right. Uh, anyway, most of them are empty. Uh, Feliciano per Perez, a local farmer, told me their owners who live in the U.S. had sent money home to build American-inspired houses for when they returned. But they never did. Perez gestured to the three-story house topped with the faux brick chimney. No one lives there, he said. 
The family of 12 had migrated a few years ago, leaving the vacant construction. Vecinos Fantasmas, uh, Perez called them ghost neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it gets down in it. You have to, you have to really drill, <laughs> drill down into the article to find it. But uh, they, they do blame it. They do blame it on uh, on climate change because, well, you know, uh, they're up there in the mountains, but they can't grow anything because of climate change, which is whatever. An, which is an absolute lie. Um, right. It, it's bullshit. <laughs> yes. Oh my yeah. God! And people yeah, yeah. believe it, though. See, that's the thing you got to realize. You got to understand is question everything. We always say that because you don't want to be believing bullshit. Well, you, know, you don't. Why would you want to but... believe in absolute bullshit? <laughs> it, it makes no sense to me. Okay, it says here in February, citing a. National security crisis oh, yeah. okay. on, on the southern border. Donald, oh, sure. Donald Trump declared a state of emergency. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. A measure that even members of Congress from his own party said, what are you fucking smoking? Three, <laughs> three, three months earlier with much less fanfare. 13, it ain't weed, I guarantee you that. Thirteen federal agencies issued a landmark report about the damage wrought by climate change. <laughs> So they're just making shit up, as like they normally do. Anyway, in a 1,600-page analysis, government scientists describe wildfires in, Calif wildfires in California, the collapse of in infrastructure in the South, crop shortages in the Midwest, West, and catastrophic flooding. Uh, the president publicly dismissed the findings. I, 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 I hate to agree with Trump, but these guys are full of shit. Anyway, yeah. as as to whether or not it's man-made or whether or not the effects that you're talking about here, I don't see it. Well, you don't see it because it's not there, buddy. Um, and there was a deep, deeper layer of denial in this, since overlooking these effects meant turning a blind eye to one of the major forces driving migration to the border. So there you have it. It's 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 climate change. It's, it's making all those mm -hmm. those people from the south. Come on up. Oh, by the way, um, crisis on the border? No, no, not happening. No such thing, man. It's it's nonsense. There's been people coming across that border forever since that border existed. And and uh, the numbers now are no greater than they were 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you're looking at it a little closer now to see how many come across, but there's no more people coming across than there were back then. So... Mm -hmm. um, Border crisis, climate change. Oh my God! <laughs> let's go. Let's go back to those windmills, shall we? That was, that was, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we shit balls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, all, right. all right, let's hear some more music. Yeah, let's do that. I got something to talk about. When All we right, when we come back, Moosey end will, of the music set. Lucy will feed us some info. Well, yeah, I think it's good info. All right. All right. I missed this. It's kind of a shame. All right. <laughs> Leo Maraccioli with Rob Chapman doing the Folsom Prison Blues there for you all. Very nice stuff. Uh, before that, we had Joe Satriani, one of my favorite Joe, song, Joe Satriani songs, Cool, number nine. And we kicked it off with a Cowboy Tech request, Co Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Woodstock. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's the music. Right. Um, anyway, uh, uh, we're talking here in the chat about various things during that set, and uh, I mentioned to one of the chatters here, uh, Jay Dredd, a.k.a. Hansel, that he should watch a movie called uh, The Valley, Obscured by Clouds. Now, for those of you who have never seen it, and probably that's most of you who have never seen it, um, it's an interesting little journey. I have not seen it. Yeah, they used to do it at the at the midnight movies, um, down on the strand there in Ocean Beach. <laughs> anyway, uh, they'd mix it. You know, one one week would be like Rocky Horror, next week would be 
uh, Led Zeppelin uh, movie, and then they have Jimi Hendrix, The Bridge, Rainbow Bridge, uh, and then some. Quiet, you. Hey. Quiet, <laughs> quiet, quiet, you. Uh, and then, that was Mandolin Orange. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, so so uh, anyway, um, you follow these people on their journey through right. these uh, South American jungles. And they're looking for a, mm-hmm. a valley. It's supposed to be paradise. Okay. Okay. And they travel through all kinds of just trials and tribulations, going mm-hmm. over hills and and through valleys, and for for just en- endlessly it seems. And and they and they uh, some of them get hurt, some of them get damaged, um, and, and then anyway. So finally, towards the mm-hmm. end. They come up on this hill, and they look down into this valley. And the valley looks exactly like all the other valleys they pass through. <laughs> oh no! And they're about done. I mean, they're about wiped right, out. Right? Like, oh really? Wiped okay. Out. Yep. And the girl stands up and says, "There it is, the valley." Yeah. So. <laughs> so. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. and, and the first time you see it, you might go, "What? What?" And right, you, right. and most people probably never watch it again because I mean it's it's kind of slow and boring. Right, right. Um, <laughs> you know, there, are, there are some exciting scenes in there. I get chased by these certain people, people you know, indigenous people down there. Um, but but the thing is, they truly believed that when they got there and they saw this next valley. That they had actually reached the valley that they were looking for, paradise, okay. this paradise valley. Okay. And so, to them, they were probably all going to die up on that hill, but um, <laughs> which is a different, different thing altogether. But um, so, so when they they looked down into this valley and they and they said, "Oh, we found we've we, you know we've, we've gotten to our paradise," but they didn't say that. They said, "There it is, the valley, like the valley we've been searching for." Um, <laughs> so, so that's that's what it is. Where, where, right. you, where, what, what, what is this this uh, wonderful place that everybody's seeking? It's in mm-hmm. your mind. It's got to be in your mind. Yep. Because it doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, and who you're with. Right. If you think you're in a wonderful place, you'll be in a wonderful place. Right. If you, it's think, all about the mindset. If you think you're in a horrible place. Then you're gonna hate it, and you're gonna think it's a horrible place, even yep. if everybody else that's there thinks it's a wonderful place. You right. Don't, you don't exactly. like it, so to you, it's 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 hell. But to them, it's not. It may not be paradise okay. to to the others there, but maybe it is. To some right. Them. Yeah. So, exactly. Um, okay. So I have this article that I just found. All right. Let's 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 hear it. It's yeah. called Science of People. Okay. Dot com. Science of people dot com. And it's called the seven types of toxic people and how to spot them. All right. And this is, you know, I think everyone needs to hear this once in a while just because there's toxic people out there, as we were saying. There's people that are just fucking nuts and psycho and fucking bad juju. Right. Right? Right. So, here's the problem. Okay. Draining, non-supportive, and difficult people are one of life's greatest challenges. Well, can be. Uh, in this post, I want to talk about how you can spot and stop and deal with the toxic people coming into your life. You deserve to have people in your life who you enjoy spending time with, who support you, and who love hanging out with. You, you love hanging out with. Here's the problem. Guilt. Whenever I talk about toxic people, the same categories seem to crop up over and over again. Number one, friend by history. This is a person who you've known forever. Maybe you went to elementary school together or you were neighbors growing up. Now you feel guilty ending the relationship. Two, friend by by proximity. This is a person who comes as a package of someone else in your life. Maybe it's your partner's best friend or your friend's brother who always takes along. Or your best friend's childhood friend. You feel guilty because you don't want to put your person in an awkward situation. Oh, my dog has to go out soon. Uh, Friend by context. This is a person who you see all the time in a specific area of your life. 
Someone you work with every day, someone on, the, on your flag football team, someone who lives across the hall. You feel guilty brushing them off because you see them all the dang time. Okay, sometimes these relationships are casual, but other times they can grow rotten. You keep e ending up with someone in your life who is jealous, who has a totally different set, set of ethics, and this is why when, when is, this is when they become toxic. Um, number one, conversational nar narcissist. Have you ever been talking to someone who keeps interrupting you? Maybe I should revise that sentence. <laughs> Have you ever been trying to talk to someone who won't let you get a word in? <laughs> Never. Oh. <laughs> Conversational <laughs> social narcissists love to talk about themselves or just hear themselves talk. They don't ask you any questions. They don't wait for your responses, and they won't shut up. <laughs> in a relationship, these people will end up being completely self-centered and never be attentive to your needs. Number two, the straight jacket. The straight jacket is someone who wants to control everything and everyone around them. They want to be in charge of what you do, what you say, and even what you think. You know the person I'm talking about. They freak out when you disagree with them. They won't stop trying to convince you that you are right, that you are right, and you should do what they say. That they are right. Yeah. In a relationship, this person will give you no breathing room and constantly will nag you until you are in complete alignment with them. Be careful. These people will go after your emotional, conversational, and mental freedom until you have nothing left. Get out while you can. Number three, the emotional moocher. The emotional moocher are also known as a spiritual vampire because they tend to suck up the positivity out of you or bleed you emotionally dry. These are the kinds of people who always have something sad, negative, or pessimistic to say. In conversations and relationships, they never can see the positive and tend to bring everyone down with them. If you're with someone and they only have bad things to say whenever you see them, watch out. It might not get better. Number four, drama magnet. <laughs> Some toxic people are magnets for drama. Yeah. Oh, something always is wrong. Oh, shut up, man. Something is always is wrong. It's always. And, of course, once a problem is solved, is solved, another one emerges. And they only want your empathy, sympathy, and support, but not your advice. Nope. You offer help and solutions, but they never want to seem to want to fix anything. Instead, they complain and complain. <laughs> in a relationship drama, magnets are victims and thrive in a crisis because it makes them feel important. If someone is a beacon for adversity, watch out. <laughs> you or, or, might one day become part of the drama. As the saying goes, uh -huh. some people are only happy when they're pissed off. True. True, true. <laughs> Number five, a JJ. My friends and I can spot a JJ from a mile away, and I want to show you how is how how to as well. A JJ, oh, Jackson, I know. A JJ is a jealous, judgmental person. Jealous people are incredibly toxic because they have so much internal self-hate that they can't be happy for anyone around them. And typically, their jealousy comes out as a judgment, criticism, or gossip. According to them, everyone else is awful, uncool, or lacking in some way. If someone starts jealousy, jealously gossiping with you about other people, watch out. This might mean be a toxic person, and you may never know what they will say about you behind your back. Okay, I'm almost done. It's not long, Grim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, number six, the fibber. I've had a lot, lot of liars in my life before I learned human lie detection, which I am pretty good at myself. Um, liars, fibbers, exaggerators. It's exhausting to have a toxic deceiver in your life, whether they tell little falsehoods or major lies. It's impossible to trust a liar in a relationship, period. Um, dishonesty drains us because we constantly are doubting their words. If your intuition is ringing alarm bells, then watch out. Get out before you're lied to. Number seven, a tank. A tank crushes everything in its path. A human tank is always right, doesn't take any muscles, feelings, or ideas into account, and constantly puts themselves first. In a relationship, tanks are incredibly arrogant and see their potential, their personal opinions as facts. This is because they often think that they are the smartest person in the room. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah? Hans is a tank? I think so. All He's right. fitting the description pretty well so all far. Right. All right. Okay, so what did I say? Uh, in a relationship, tanks are incredibly arrogant and see their personal opinions as facts. This is because they often think that they are the smartest person in the room. 
So they see every conversation in person as a challenge that must be won over. They rarely see others as equals, and this can be challenging when trying to form a loving connection. If you feel your ideas are being run over or you are not being respected, get out while you still can. Okay, so now the ending of this article. Get out or how to deal with toxicity. Did someone pop into your head as I explain these toxic, <laughs> toxic personality types? <laughs> Um, if you have someone in your life who you dread seeing, who doesn't respect your opinions, who makes you feel bad about yourself in any way, then you need to just say no. Do you feel that you constantly have to save this person and fix their problems? You are covering up or hiding for, from them, for, for them. You dread seeing them. You feel drained after being with them. You get angry, sad, or depressed when you are around them. They cause you to gossip or be mean. You feel you have to impress them. You're affected by their drama or problems, or they ignore your needs and don't hear no. And so it ends on ends with, you deserve to have wonderful, supportive, and loving people in your life. In fact, life is too short to spend time with people who don't help you be your best self. I hope you will use this article as your immunization against toxic people. Okay. I liked it. Cause it's, it's to the point. All right, yeah, that's good. No, it's good. You know what I mean? It's it's to the fucking point, and it's like you have to. No, uh, Matt was making a comment when I was talking about the drama thing. Like he <laughs> thinks I'm like all like you know. It's like he he exaggerates. Yeah. You know he exaggerates, but um, yeah, he was just giving me shit because he heard me talking. He was just like walking through, you know, whatever. Right. But, oh yeah, mom. I'm like, whatever, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vin. I think it was a good one. Right. I am the same way. I don't have room for that shit. Nope. If you're gonna be a fucking dick. Yeah, I don't got time for you. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like I only got so much time for people like that. My time is valuable and limited. I'll the fuck if I'm gonna fucking waste my fucking time. Yeah. With some fucking toxic person. It just wants to drain me and is totally incredibly selfish. It's like, you know what? Screw off, bitch. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I guess I'm able to say that now because I'm as old as I am. But there's a time past, you know, in my life in the past where I didn't know that. Right. You know what I mean? I didn't know this stuff. And so I fucking put up with all, you know, a lot of crap and stuff, you know? Yeah. It's life. It's how it is. Everyone goes through it. You know, it, it's called life, but th the best thing you can do is learn from it and don't make the same mistake again. Like, the, one of my favorite, like, phrases that I'm paraphrasing is, mistakes are repeated until they are learned. Generally. So if you, if you keep making the same mistake and keep not learning it, it's going to keep happening to you. Sure, sure. Until you learn it. And then you learn it, and then you don't go back. Because once you learn, you know better. You would hope. You know, that, that's what you would hope. Yeah. So that's why I um, I just, the older I get, the less time I have for people that are like that, that in that article that I just shared. Exactly. Because it's like, you know what? Fuck you, dude. Life, I'm life. not your personal fucking pin cushion. Life is too Or your personal to fucking whatever. Life. It's like, grow the fuck up or get the fuck out. Yep, yep, yep. You know, that's what that's how I feel. I mean, right. and I'm not perfect. No, trust me, I am far. I make I make mistakes every goddamn day. You know, but it's just it's called an understanding and you know treating people the way they should be treated. You know, like I said, I'm not fucking perfect by any stretch, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right, who is? You know, all right, no, nobody is. Okay, Grant. All right, this all right. is my this is my favorite story of the week. All right. Uh, absolute favorite story of the weekend, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Uh, Arkansas men ar <laughs> arrested for shooting each other while wearing oh, a bulletproof vest. I saw that Rome's posted, or someone posted in the God, chat yesterday yeah, the other day. I'm my, like, are you fucking my, kidding me? I didn't even click on it. I'm like, I I don't even need to click on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite story. Anyway, Ro Rogers, Arkansas. Yeah. Two, two Arkansas men faced charges after allegedly shooting each other during a night of drinking. 
imagine that, while each man tried on a bulletproof vest, according to the Benton County Sheriff. Uh, Charles Eugene Ferris, 50, and Christopher Hicks, 36, were both arrested Sunday on charges of felony aggravated assault. The Benton County Sheriff uh, deputy took the initial report from Ferris at the hospital, where authorities say Ferris invented a story to cover for Hicks. Ferris said he was hired to protect an asset who paid him $200 to follow him into the woods at Ob State Park, uh, according to the probable cause affidavit. Um, Ferris said the pair went out into the woods and met another, uh, another man around 10 p.m. Uh, the men approached Ferris' asset when a gunfight broke out, Ferris said. He was struck six times, but also managed to return fire before driving off with the asset, according to the affidavit. Uh, Ferris said the asset dropped him off at his vehicle uh, before he dumped his weapons and drove himself to Mercy Hospital. Mm -hmm. However, Ferris' wife arrived at the hospital a short time later, telling investigators that her husband and Hicks shot each other while drinking on the back porch of their home on Deer Lane, Deer Run Lane and Rogers. Uh, Ferris later recanted his initial story to the deputy, saying he made it up to keep Hicks from getting in trouble. Um, where, 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 oh, uh, Ferris so said he had been wearing the vest. I do it all the time. What? I do it all the time. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Ferris said he had been wearing the vest when he asked Hicks to shoot him with a 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle. The vest stopped the bullet, but it still hurt like hell and left a mark on his chest. Ferris became pissed off because he was hurting from one shot and unloaded a clip into Christopher's back after Hicks put the vest on, according to the affidavit. Uh, his, his, Hicks only suffered bruising from the gunshots. Ferris initially told his wife he was fine after the shooting, but complained about the pain. So she told him to get to the hospital. Anyway, so they're in jail, 5000 or and they're free on $5,000 bonds. Um, the, the judge issued a no-contact order between the men. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I want to really hang out in Arkansas with uh, them boys. <laughs> I, I think I can... Uh, probably not. Pass uh, on you that. Know, pass on that trip. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, but you could hang out with Vinny. Well, you can hang out with Vinny, you know, but... I would hang out with Vinny. I mean, yeah. I'm not knowing about all those other good old boys over there, but I know, I know Vinny, so I would hang out with Vinny. He might, shoot, he might shoot you, too. You don't know. No, he wouldn't shoot me. No, no. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. I, I don't think Vinny would shoot me. I all really right. don't. All right, all right. Let's play some music while you take your dog out. <laughs> you got to yeah, and I got to take a pee, and my dog has to take a pee. All right, so, we're going to play hey, some jams yeah, here. Perfect timing. Oh, that was all excellent. Right. All right, okay. we'll be back. We will. All right, mandolin orange. Go to friends. Thank you, everybody. That's right, Charlie. Uh, true friends are definitely hard to find. You can take that to the bank. Of course, the bank's not really your friend, so I probably wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Charlie Parr there with True Friends for, for the Mighty Moose Girl. Uh, before that, we had Papa Chubby, Working Class Blues, Don O'Dell's Legends. Uh, that, that, video, that video and a bunch of other Papa Chubby, Chubby, Chubby videos just came out today, although that was recorded back around Christmas at that time. And uh, then we kicked it off there for Ben Wah, Mandolin Orange with Echo. Oh my god, they are amazing. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff there. They're amazing. I love that band so much. They're just so talented. Like, they're touring Europe. Yeah. Coming up here. Yeah, they're that good, dude. Cool. I mean, if you're a bluegrass band or whatever folk band from the U.S. and you go and tour over Europe, you made the big time, baby. Uh, yeah, sure. Like, Charlie's been to Europe. Last summer, he last spring and uh, last spring, Charlie went to Europe. Charlie Parr. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Pertnier has been to Europe. Trampled by Turtles has been to Europe. Well, I hope they didn't buy any weed on the streets. Well, I'm sure they did. Because it's shit. <laughs> oh yeah, the poop weed. Yeah, it's got shit in it. You don't want. They that. don't want the poop weed. No, no way, poop weed. 
<laughs> no taka weed. No taka weed. Oh my god, how long has it been since you heard that term? Oh my god. So, I hate that term, by the way, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, no matter. Um, anything good happen? Any, yeah, I have some good stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, what, like, good, like, really good. Like, good things. Like, heartwarming or, like, cool. Well, I don't know about all that, but. Darn <laughs> it! <laughs> Let's see what we got here in the list. Nothing good. Like, you know, I mean, we struggle to, I mean, we can find shit bad shit to talk about all day long. I mean, they're fucked up shit all day long, but, you know, good heartwarming stories. We really, we come across a few, you know, and we, we talk about them sometimes, but. Okay, okay, here's it's one. Just, okay, go this, ahead. This, this might heartwarm your heart, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> from from Western Journal dot com. Twelve year old boy goes viral after trying to fix city's rampant pothole problem. Oh, I saw a blurb on that this week. Yeah. yeah. So when his Muskegon Heights, Michigan street grew abnormal yeah, Michigan, grew yeah. an abnormally large crop of spring potholes, twelve year old Monty Scott decided to get the job done. Getting the job done was a child's play. So he did it himself. Scott's, nice. Scott's one boy public works effort was filmed and posted on a Facebook video that shows him putting dirt from his backyard into the holes in the pavement. Sweet. The video, which has been viewed more than 50,000 times, and this was a couple days ago, yeah. um, shows the boy with a can of dirt and a shovel pounding dirt into the holes. You're going to be something, too. You're a hard worker, one man calls out in the video. I didn't want people messing up their cars like my mom did, Monty Scott well, yeah. said. Um, if somebody were to drive down the street and hit a pothole, then they would have to pay like 600 700 bucks to get their car fixed. And they, right. would, be, they would be mad, he said. Well, yeah. Uh, Trinnell Scott, Monty's yeah. mother. Trinnell, that's a really a name? Okay. Monty's mother said the boy never asked permission. He just got the job done. I was at work. I well, got a text message from my niece, and she'd seen the video on Facebook. He took it upon himself, she said. That's just the type of kid he is. When he sees there's a problem or, or a need and he thinks he can fix it, he'll try to fix it. The boy said he filled in 15 potholes and planned to finish wow. the street and keep helping the community out. Uh, Muskegon Heights Ooh. Mayor Kimberly Sims lamented that the problem is so bad that he feels he has to do it while praising the boy's initiative. I commend the young man's efforts. He's 12. He should be gear, getting ready for yeah, school. Yeah, well, get on it, Mayor. I can get on it. <laughs> Do your be, job, bitch. He, he should be getting ready for school the next day or playing video games. Right, but he's not. He's not fixing potholes that you're responsible for. Well, Sims also added that potholes common in spring are a symptom of a yes. larger problem. Yes, correct. So, uh, yeah, anyway, it's, so, yeah, this yeah. says, says, says uh, uh, the guy... Go- the Governor Whitmer, who has been talking with state and local officials about legislation to fund the infrastructure, what, what are you stealing all the money for if it's not to fund the infrastructure? Uh, right. It's, it, it, come on. Yeah, this is what I hate about fucking government. It, it's just there's so much red tape and so much bureaucracy and so much like, oh, this, that. It's like, just get the fucking job done. Right. You know, do what need, address the problem. You don't have to fucking him and how over it and go like this and go like that. There's potholes. We had it in Eau Claire, right? Right. So there was one road that's heavily traveled. It's a main drag to get to downtown. It's one of the roads I drive on. It's the street I drive on right. um, frequently every day. And uh, there was potholes because of the harsh winter we had. And they weren't deep, but they were getting deep. So then the city finally, they recognized it. They filled it in with this stuff. It's called. It's just, It's kind of like a self leveling Leveling, it's like a mixture of sand and tar or something. Right. And anyway, it gets worn down. It gets worn into the into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it worked. It it, it cleared up the potholes. You know, it made them stop getting bigger. Yeah. But as J- Java and I were talking yesterday about vehicle repairs and stuff like that, and this kid's correct when he says that potholes can screw up a vehicle. And cause major expensive repair damage. I mean, it's you know what I mean? You you fucking break a tie rod or a ball joint goes bad or this or that, your car is disabled and you have to get it fixed. 
Right. You can't drive it safely after that. Like, I have an all-wheel drive Ford Edge that my son drives since 2010, and um, got new tires on them in November of 2017. We only really put 22, 3,000 miles on them, right. but they wore out prematurely. Well, it turns out it was a bad tie rod, tie rod, bad ball joint. So this is something that you can't let go. Like when we brought it in to get the new tires put on and have the inspection done of what was causing the issue, and they told us what was wrong. The, the guy puts loose in capital letters that the tie rod's very loose. So my son's driving this vehicle. It's not safe to drive with this loose of a tie rod, all right? Right. And, the, and plus, it's a 2010 vehicle, so I've never really had any other um, major repair done in it, other up until now, which is lucky, knock on wood, right? Mm -hmm. But the, my point is, I guess, that I'm getting to is potholes and shit do fuck up a vehicle. Oh, absolutely. They do. They can. If you hit, like, I was, I remember, and this is in the summertime. This is last summer. This is the, the, my vehicle that I have, the 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe. And so I'm driving to the festival, and I'm in the right lane. Okay, I was in the left lane, in the fast lane, and then there wasn't a lot of traffic in the right lane, so I decided to switch lanes because, you know, you're supposed to be in the right, the left lane's really a passing lane. Anyway, I switched lanes to the right lane thinking, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be blah, 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 and see, roads can buckle due to heat, too. Sure. But this was, like, the side of the, it, it started on the, on the shoulder, or in the berm part, in the shoulder part, and then it fucking creeped out into the fucking main part of the, the highway, the freeway, right? right? Right. So there's this huge fucking hole. Well, I didn't see it. So, like, literally 20 seconds or 30 seconds after I pull into the right lane, mm. I hit this fucking pothole. Yeah. And I was, I'm going 70, 70, you know, 70, 75 miles per hour. Right. And I hit this thing, and I swear to God, I thought for sure my tire was going to go flat. It was that hard. You know yeah. what I mean? It was yeah. that fucking much of a fucking impact or whatever. You know what I mean? Right, right. And I was like, that's fuck. And I, I'm lucky I had both hands on the wheel, or I could have possibly, like, went off the road, you know, or something. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, sure, sure, sure. That's why they say you always have to have your hand on the road. You know, all of us do it where we drive with your knee. Yeah. I do that. You know, once in a while you'll drive with your knee. Not safe to do that, but, you know. <laughs> no. You know, but so luckily I had my hands on the wheel and I was able to not lose control of the vehicle, but it was that much of a jolt. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And I, I seriously thought I was going to be pulled over and disabled because I thought my tire was going to go flat or... The suspension was fucked up so bad, you know what I mean? Right, right. But no, it made it, knock on wood, but that was a huge jolt. It was like, oh, my fucking God. And so the bitch is, is that we pay all this money for fucking taxes and shit to our state. We pay all this money in income tax. We pay out to, the, you know, I pay all this money in property tax to the county of Eau Claire that, you know, it, and I get it. It's a tough job maintaining roads in a brutal climate like we have here. Right. You know, but Jesus fucking Christ, people. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. What am I? I'm paying three thousand dollars a year to rent this lot. Well, my yeah, well you know, on. the thing is, your uh, the taxes that they put on the gasoline are supposed to pay for the roads. Yeah, that's what they say, but that's that's a misnomer too. That's a myth. That's it, not it true. It is a myth. It doesn't, it doesn't. They don't do it. They don't. It's not done. Exactly. Exactly. Just look, just look so people the, are like, well, yeah, that's you know, this is how stupid people justify the high gas prices when it's not even fucking true. It's like you fucking dumbass. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you know, you're getting all pissed all off right. and riled up for gas prices, but you have no fucking clue what the fuck you're talking about. You you look like a total moron. You so, sound like a total moron. Anyway, I was just trying to give you a heartwarming story. I know, but it, you know, you know what goes, it just leads it. One thing leads to the other, and then now we're back <laughs> bad at bad shit. Taxes and fucking it's bullshit, people. Yeah. Don't you guys get it? Like Hale talks about it all the time. Yep. Hale says it every fucking week. Sure he does. We gotta stop allowing them to do this to us. Yeah, well. Whatever it is, be it the fluoride, the chemtrails, the vaccines, the fucking whatever, the fucking oppression, the taxes, the fucking illegalities of everything that they do. Right. You guys, 
I listen to him. Okay? Uh-huh. I might not be chatting while he's talking, because I'm usually, like, running around my house, but I have it on. Right. And I can hear it if I'm in the kitchen doing dishes or whatever. But Hal says it every freaking week, people. Right. Stop doing letting them do this to us. All right. Well, on that. If on you that. don't, but yeah, like, but if you don't know how to do it, listen to Hal. Ask questions. Open your fucking mind. You want to change something? Uh huh. Decide on what cause it. You know, one of my causes I think could be for me and Eau Claire would be to get the floor out of the fucking water. Okay. If I was in the pick of a, a cause to be get behind or to start a petition or whatever, right? That would that would be one of the things I would address. Would be the fluoride in the water, yeah. because other communities throughout this country have gotten their fluoride out of the fucking drinking water. People, some have, yeah. They've made it happen. This is what he t- he's talking about. I know. You can't just sit back. And fucking let some let this shit happen. It's not gonna happen if you just sit back. You have to take action. Right. And you can't I, and just and fucking I'm... talk about it and say I'm against this. I'm that. You know what? You ain't shit if you're all you're doing is being be a keyboard warrior. And, that, that's all you are. <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised they didn't arrest that kid. Right. I'm you know. too. I am too. <laughs> right. Oh, how dare you! No, this is the city's problem. You're not allowed to do this. Right, right. Like they could have, they could have went hard ass on the kid. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And in some cities, they would have. Sure, sure. No, don't fool yourselves, people. I mean, come on. How how fucked up is do things have to get when fucking cops are actually shutting down lemonade stands? Okay, okay. No, no, Little look, kid look. lemonade stands. Here, here. What look. the fuck? <laughs> listen, listen to this story. Okay, okay. Okay, it's on uh, WECT.com, one of those clap outlets. Uh, Man accused of abandoning pet fish faces animal cruelty charges. It's a fucking fish. (laughs) Right. right, I I heard about that. That was on my news here in in Eau Claire. I'm like, what? Is this a Eau Claire story? I'm like, no, no, it's uh, New New New, Han- New Hanover County, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, so, oh my so, God. So, I was the, like, the, the New Hanover <laughs> County man was arrested on animal cruelty charges after he allegedly <laughs> failed to provide fresh water and food to his pet okay. fish. Okay. And, this is fucking insane, people. And a- abandoned it after he was evicted from his home. Oh my God. So. He could have just flushed it, right? I mean, what the fuck, man? Anyway, oh my, 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 I'd my, be like, dude, I'd be going to the judge. I'd be going, I'd be going to the fucking, I'd be calling the district attorney and saying, are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> it's a fish. Anyway, so it's Mike, fucking fish. Mike, Michael Ray Hinson, fifty-three, was taken into custody on Wednesday, in charge with three counts of misdemeanor cruelty to animals, and one count of abandonment of an animal. It's a fish. He was given Yeah, full... it's a fish, dude. He was I given mean, a... I love fish. Don't get me wrong. I love fucking fish. I have nothing <laughs> against fish. I like to eat fish. He I was... like to have them as pets. He was given a four... I like them. He, he was given a $4,000 unsecured bond. Are you kidding me? And later Four... released what? from Are jail. you fucked? That, this, is, this is too far. Don't you guys see this? Oh, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. how far it's gone. They, they, they definitely were after this guy for something. And they, and they, oh, yeah. They, oh, they oh, wanted look, to pin left, something on he him. He left a fucking fish in a bowl. Uh, look, look, oh, my God. Look, look, look. This is... This is beyond, beyond. L- L- Lieutenant Jerry Brewer, spokesman, person for the New Hanover County Sheriff's Office, said Hinson was evicted from his home on Two Chopped Road on Friday, March 22nd. Two Chopped Road, okay, Two Chopped Road, okay. Yeah. Right. De- Deputy said the agency civil unit went to the home following Monday, uh, the following Monday and noticed that Hinson had left behind an Oscar fish that was in poor health and swimming. In oh well, it's an Oscar fish. Yeah, they live forever, and they are really cool fish. I love Oscar I don't fish. Care like the guy could have fucking gave it to somebody or it's something. It's a fish. <laughs> but it's still, it's a fish. I know, but Oscar fish are really fucking cool. Oh, so it was. They, uh, I mean, they are. So uh, Elaine Lane or Ethan Lane with the fish room 
where the fish oh, is God. being where the fish is being nursed back to health. Thank God. <laughs> but no, but to find the owner four thousand dollars that's bullshit. That's ridiculous. Come on. They, they said the Oscar fish is about forty to fifty bucks to buy one. And can grow up to sixty inches long. Yes, they can. They live and they live forever. They're like a prehistoric goddamn DNA and shit. They're, they, they're, they're great and they're really docile. They're not like piranhas or whatever. You they, know what I mean? They are great pets. We call them they wet are, pets. Wet pets. They're great. I, okay. I love Oscar. Okay. If I could Here's have the, an aquarium and maintain it properly, I would love to have an Oscar. I would. Let me ask you this. You ever you ever been to the carnival and you, and you win like a goldfish or something? Sure, I, I hate that. Oh, I hate those. That, then, that then, is cruel to the, goldfish. Then, then what? No, like, okay, that that that's fine. Well, they're doing it, but yeah, so whatever. so then you ha you have this this goldfish and you got to carry it around. A lot of people don't want to carry it around. They just throw it in the trash or throw it on the ground. Did they not just abandon fish? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Just, it, yes. So, so There's you, no difference. So, yeah. are you going to find these people at the fair for $4,000 for like, flushing a fish down the toilet? Right. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's what most people do, especially if you're a three year old with a goldfish and you have no way of. You're going to flush that fucker. Yeah, you're gonna absolutely. Be like, oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you're going to be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's hear a couple more tunes here. Let's do that. And, and then uh, we shall return. We shall return. Hopefully, I got time for all this. We'll see. Hopefully. Yep. Oh, yeah, Black Betty. All right, Stoner Train there to wrap it up for us on this evening. Uh, before that was Wall of Voodoo with Mexican Radio. A Judge Dredd, a.k.a. Hansel Request. And before that was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers with Gary Clark Jr. doing good enough from May 2nd, 2017. And we kicked it off with the um, Hi Matt Dimitsch uh, <laughs> doing ACDC Highway to Hell. I all, love all, that. Also a Hansel Request. So, uh, I yeah. I loved that one. That was oh, awesome. Was funny, funny I stuff. Was fun. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Anyway, I, like I, I, I hadn't planned on, on wrapping it up on that set, but I didn't realize the yeah, time. You know, we, we ran out of time. It happens, you it know. Does. We get It's a freaker's ball. I know, I know. So we can do whatever, <laughs> you know. We do whatever. Anyway, don't forget like, to check, it, check, uh, check out the uh, schedule on reallibertymedia.com. Just click the pop-up yeah. schedule thing there. Check out the shows over the weekend and throughout the next week. We have shows every day. Every, every, we do. Yeah, seven, day, all, seven days a week. We have shows. Yeah, not 24 hours a day, but seven days a week. Right. Uh, so that's it. Y'all have yourselves a great weekend. Thank you all for being here joining us. On yes, these thank you, everyone. Freakers Ball. We'll be back again next Friday night. We will. And uh, don't forget to mention Mandolin Orange. Well, that was Mandolin Orange, people. Check them out. Look them up on YouTube. They're amazing. Uh, that was in the previous set, but yeah, Mandolin Orange. And, you know, just check out YouTube. Just explore. Yeah, we yeah. mentioned it. We played it. <laughs> we did. <laughs> all right. Um, I guess that's all. You got anything else? Uh, yeah, we play good music on this channel. So mm -hmm. if you guys, like, hear something you like, check them out on YouTube. Look them up. Cause we always play just YouTube videos. And I always tell you what songs we played. Exactly. So um, have a good weekend, everyone. You guys rock? Yes, you do. Yep. Peace. Peace.